Uh, this is the question. Uh, I do think, you see, that uh, finally nobody. It is what could be deemed the, the Marie Antoinette syndrome. Uh, Europe now is back to some kind of the last days of the ancient regime in France. I, I am not sure that uh, rentier capitalism could survive for a very long time in an economy which is obviously collapsing and dying, and really dying. Uh, for instance, yes, while they officially register record profits, German and French banks are losing money, not because of the public debt, out of uh, very strange mechanism I shall try to explain, but because of the real economy. Uh, most of the small industries especially in the service industry, are now bankrupt. Household, most of them are de facto bankrupt because they are obliged just to survive, to replace income by debt contracted in absolutely horrifying conditions. Uh, the average rate of interest paid uh, by the poorest household in France is around 18 or 19 percent. So, it's clear uh, that uh, banks uh, accounts are more and more artificial. Uh, so the problem is that when you discuss with the ruling technocrats uh, in Paris, uh, Brussels, Berlin, of the European Investment Bank. First, they are paid outrageous incomes. The chair of the European Central Bank is paid 1 million euros a year tax-free. Because, he said, I am the chair of a sovereign entity, so I don't want to pay tax. But, finally, it's just a tiny elite and now they are mainly driven by pure uh, ideology, completely indifferent to the fate of ordinary people. And this is the most uh, stupefying fact. For instance, when they impose deflation plus deflation on Greece and their own country, they know what is happening. They are completely indifferent. There is some kind of uh, cruelty of the European elite which 
I think doesn't exist on such a scale in the United States. Uh, most of them dream now of some kind of uh, Fourth Reich. When you, you, when you discuss in private with them, they say yes. Finally, we must get rid of uh, the democratic state and the republic. But the problem is how. Uh, uh, they start to be afraid because uh, they could be very authoritarian. They don't have the possibility of maintaining public order. Uh, there are secret debates in Brussels on the possibility of creating some kind of uh, uh, supranational uh, military uh, force recruited as mercenaries. Mm -hmm. But uh, that could be too much, you see, I think. At least I hope. Uh, so, uh, finally, nobody will uh, survive. And now, who are the richest people in Europe? Uh, indeed, uh, the share of the mega corporations, the average income of uh, the chief executive of banks and uh, the former productive corporations is much more than 1 million uh, euros a month. It could be uh, 20 or 40 or 50 or 100 millions uh, a year. Uh, uh, or those owning real estate, especially in Paris. Uh, for instance, uh, I knew, uh, I have uh, friends mm -hmm. in the ruling elite of the Socialist Party. Right. They own real uh, property, uh, hotel particulier from the 17th century in the center of Paris. Wow. It is worse, uh, I don't know why. Uh, but uh, finally, the society is collapsing. Nobody. Uh, this is what uh, I have tried to explain. Uh, not to you, no, of course. but to those in power. But it is a waste of time. It's a waste of time. No. They tell me either that I am a communist mm -hmm. or an agent of the CIA, <laughs> or they tell me if you are right, we are wrong. So it's impossible. Uh, there is no communication between. Yes, them. there is no communication. Uh, no communication. Uh, Italy should leave the Eurozone. There is no problem. Uh, because, as I tried to explain, uh, the Eurozone was created explicitly against many things, but especially they targeted Italy.
They wished to kill uh, Italian economy by uh, because when Italy adopted the euro, it is as though uh, the currency wine becoming becoming scarce had been uh, reevaluated by I made the computation. 40%. So the competitiveness of Italy outside the Eurozone collapsed at once uh, for obvious reasons. Uh, and finally, what are the benefits? to stay in the Eurozone, none. Because some people say, but uh, to buy uh, oil, the problem is that the Saudis and the Russians, they don't want Euros, they want Dollars. But, the European Central Bank, for obscure reasons, doesn't have reserves in dollars. Mm -hmm. So, what happens? Governments are obliged to borrow dollars to banks, and banks are obliged to borrow dollars uh, to American banks. So this, the system now survives by daily swaps between the Federal Reserve System and the European Central Bank. Uh, so why? are banks in a very poor situation because, as I told you, of the collapse of the domestic market, but because American banks want their dollar back <laughs> and European banks do not have dollar reserves. So the American government maintain the system by lending uh, dollars to the European Central Bank, which is indeed absurd. <laughs> uh, it is the reason why the euro is maintained at this artificial uh, real uh, exchange rate. Uh, without the support of the American government, I do think that the system could collapse. Okay. And why, you could ask, why does uh, the Obama administration maintain uh, this policy? Well, uh, because of American banks, so, uh, the American government, through the Federal Reserve, uh, is lending dollars to the European Central Bank. The European Central Bank is lending dollars to European banks, and dollars are back to American banks. <laughs> Crazy. Which is indeed uh, very, uh, a very uh, insane system. Okay. Oh, the insane.